How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Okay. Okay, Kenny. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? He did. Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. All right, job done. Oh well, no, not not for myself. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Yep. A good leader sacrifices himself for the good of his team. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. Maybe I'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Hmm, I hope you die. What is this? What's that for? Oh, that, that was my first attempt at making an alarm system. The new version is much more sophisticated. I see. <sighs> All right, Marky Mark, you seem reasonable. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, yeah. I just hope Kadja can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions... She's pissed at everything. But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Maybe you need to go. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Mm, really yeah, give him. us that thing for a bit. Have an axe. Can't yeah, give axe to Mark. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. Bullshit. You didn't think to give me the axe? No. Come on, Larry, a give it a rest. Time bomb. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah. There, yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what Nothing. it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. All right. Not such an easy job, is it? Mm, it wasn't too bad. I hope I get to eat next time. You will. You will, buddy. I'll make sure. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. It wasn't that bad. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before- Hey, you took care of my boy. As far as I'm concerned, you did right by me. You might earn yourself a place on the RV after all. <laughs> I hope so. Still. I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. I never are. You're out! What happened to my food? Well, you There's are a huge left. dick, so you don't get you it. keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. It's fine, You're buddy. one to talk, old man. Yeah, for real. Yeah? Well, I don't see you working on that wall. No, we were looking for food, remember? God, I hate that guy. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... 
Let him go, Kaja. But he just needs time. It's been a rough morning. <laughs> Indeed. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Yeah, I didn't. Well, at least he's didn't not a problem so. anymore. What about the other kid? Oh shit! What the fuck? God damn! Bring me! Whoa! Oh shit! What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do here? Uh, anybody? What? Okay, what? What am I? What do I do? What the fuck do I do? God damn! Do you got him, Doug? Do you got him? Get this fucker off my foot! Get him off my fucking foot! Somebody kill him! Somebody hit this fucker! Oh, come on, what is this shit? What? Are, who are these two fuckers? Come on! Hit him in the fucking head! You suck! Do you got him, Doug? Get the fuck off me, piece of shit. Oh, come, somebody! Push it off, I don't want to hit you. What do I. What the fuck do I do there? There was no prompt! What the fuck? Come on, man. This is out of control. I got him. No, you don't. None of you haven't, because you all suck. Okay, how do I do that? What am I supposed to do? Okay, we'll try again. This is getting boring now. Oh, oh such a pussy. Oh, I can't do it. I never should have given you assholes the ass. I know you don't, Doug. Get the fuck back, zombie. Fuck you. Fall off the truck. Push it off. I don't want to hit you. Okay. I don't know what to do. Oh, oh shit. What the hell? Alright, we survived, everyone. No problem. We gotta watch each other. My mouse for some reason I don't know what Why happened. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, I don't know asshole? What Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! You said he wasn't bitten. What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten? We did. You said no. He wasn't. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Infected? Everyone? I I guess. My mouse so. like clicked off screen before I all I know closed the I've game window. I don't know. Who I know we're never this game broken. is giving me a lot when of problems today, it happen, and it's really fucking annoying. The gym and everybody thought we were finally safe, but one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills, a lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and God. Oh god, now what? 
Who are these two? Doug, it works. Of course it works. I told you. Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. Are they the people that raided your camp? I don't think so. But they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No. We have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. No, we don't. No, we don't! That's far enough! Oh, shit! Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no problem. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Nope. No gas. What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up against the road. Zombies? If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? Not good. We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Thanks for coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor end. Boy, you're all about the electricity. Really stop walkers. No, of as course long not. As the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. No. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. It probably takes a while, though. Yeah, and that it drains all the energy. Smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. What's that you And I gave you an apple. Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? It's a democracy. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. You How many it. people you got over there anyway? You're asking a lot of questions. Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Mm -hmm. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. I don't trust I've been running too. a dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? What? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. They and you guys were keeping it all for yourself. What should we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Seems a good Fuck plan. you! Oh! Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh, shit! Jeez, that guy's a psychopath. You should kill him now. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Jesus. This episode is grim. Hey, 
Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with that generators like and amps. Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, well, this is my mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. Okay, this here's then. Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. Mm -hmm. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, Do we? that's I don't good think that's too. true. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're starved. These are for y'all. Bake fresh this morning. Holy moly! Holy moly! Do people say that? <laughs> Sorry. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got uh -oh. and be with us for a good long while. I don't want no zombie cow milk. Sick? What's she... We have a vet, but we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Is there something Why don't I head back with the food and round this. up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take this. All right. See you later. Something isn't right here. Mark, Lee, Maybe I'm just why don't you take a look around? Naturally Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Okay, I guess I'm supposed to go somewhere. Can I get my axe back? That's good. Okay, got the generator here. That seems good. Hi. Hi. Howdy. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. 
Seems reasonable. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. <laughs> close that sounds real nice. These days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. Oh. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence the ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Mm -hmm.